And before we get into it, I just want to mention a couple of crystals that you can work with for the sacral chakra. Now these here, these are carnelians. I'll just show you what some of them look like. So some of the patterns that can come through on the carnies, absolutely amazing. These ones here are orange calcite. These are the raw version, but you can also get tumble stones, of course. But not to get too technical here, working on sacral chakra energy, you can pick any orange crystal at all. I'm just showing you the ones that I've got listed down below, so you can read all about carnelian and orange calcite down below. And I just want to add on a little bit more about how to care for your crystals. So when you go and buy your crystals, or if you've got a collection of crystals at home already, get to know them first. And you do this just by feeling into the energy of them and having them around you. So putting them next to the bedside table when you go to sleep at night, just so they can hook up on the energy that you are, your energy field. Another way to look after them is, for me, I keep mine on a bed of rice. Now the rice just absorbs any energy that the crystal might have picked up on when it was doing any work but obviously of course a lot of the time they'll be placed out on the on the ground for some earthing putting them on the windowsill just to charge them up again some of them do like the water so running them under the water etc if you do want to get more into a crystal course there is a link below it's a crystal course for beginners but i mean this should keep you covered for you know, just taking care of them, looking after them when they're doing work on yourself. But also with the crystals that you do have, you can place them on other people too. And I recommend after they've done a healing on another person, put them on the rice, okay? Or get them cleared some way, whether it be with sunlight, water or earth. 